Franklin and the Scooter. Please like, share, and subscribe. Franklin can tie his shoes. Franklin can count by twos. And Franklin can ride a bicycle and a scooter too. There's only one problem. Franklin doesn't have a scooter. Franklin's friend Rabbit has a scooter. One day, Rabbit let Franklin ride it. It was shiny and red and went really, really fast. This is fun, said Franklin. I want my own scooter. Franklin went home. I want a scooter, he said. May I have one for my birthday? You just had a birthday, said his mother. You got lots of nice things, said his father. Franklin had an idea. You may take back some of those things, he said. Then you can buy me a scooter. His parents laughed. <laughs> Maybe next year, said his mother. That afternoon, Franklin and Bear walked to the store. Are you getting a scooter? Bear asked. No, said Franklin. My dad said a scooter costs too much money. Oh, said Bear. Franklin and Bear looked in the window. They stared at all the shiny new scooters. Then Bear had an idea. Why don't you buy a scooter? asked Bear. You have lots of money in your piggy bank. Franklin smiled. Yes, I do, he said. He and Bear ran back to Franklin's house. Franklin shook out his piggy bank. He counted all the pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. That's not a lot of money, said Franklin. Hmm, it's just enough to buy two ice cream cones, said Bear. <laughs> the next day, Franklin had a good idea. I will sell lemonade, he said. Bear came over to help. They mixed sugar and water. They squeezed lemons. They set up a table in front of the house. Lemonade, 10 cents. They tasted the lemonade lots of times. It was just right. Mmm, yum, yum. Then they saw Beaver. Want to buy some lemonade? Franklin asked. You look very hot. I am very hot, said Beaver. I had a turn on Rabbit's scooter. I'm getting my own scooter soon, said Franklin. Beaver gave Franklin her money. Franklin picked up the lemonade. Uh-oh, the jug was empty. Oops, said Bear. Franklin gave back the money. <laughs> the next day, Franklin had another idea. I will sell some of my toys, he said. Franklin looked in his toy box. He found lots of toys. But then he changed his mind. I love my toys, he told his mother. Maybe I can sell some of your toys. <laughs> Franklin's mother gave him old books and old clothes. His father gave him an old chair and an old lamp. His sister gave him an old doll. Now I have lots to sell, said Franklin. And he set up a yard sale. That's a clever idea. But nobody wanted to buy. Who wants old stuff, asked Beaver. Are you selling food, asked Bear. Then Rabbit came by on his scooter. He saw Franklin's bicycle. Can I buy your bike, he asked. It isn't for sale, said Franklin. Hmm. I really want a bicycle, said Rabbit, but my parents won't buy me one. Hmm, said Franklin. Franklin jumped up. I have a good idea, he said. If I sell you my bicycle, I'll have lots of money to buy a scooter. Good idea, said Rabbit. He held up his piggy bank. I have lots of money. <laughs> Rabbit shook out pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. Everyone counted the coins. This is not a lot of money, said Franklin. 
Hmm. It's just enough to buy two ice cream cones, said Bear. Rabbit was sad. I really, really want a bicycle, he said. Franklin was sad. I really, really, really want a scooter, he said. Hmm, said Rabbit. Hmm, said Franklin. Then Franklin and Rabbit jumped up. I have a good idea, they shouted together. We'll switch back and forth every day, said Franklin. We'll take turns sharing, said Rabbit. Franklin rode off on Rabbit's scooter, and Rabbit rode off on Franklin's bicycle. Beaver and Bear ran after him. They all met at the ice cream store. They had just enough money to buy four ice cream cones. Two plus two. <laughs> and that's the end. I hope you like Franklin, and I hope you like that story. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Love you guys. Bye-bye.